So I would like to thank uh, the uh, previous speaker uh, because uh, thanks to him I can proudly wear this uh, rubber uh, bracelet which says Ukraine everywhere in Wikipedia. And I uh, have this privilege because I, uh, uh, I actually uh, participated into um, Ukrainian Diplomacy Month. All right. So uh, I will tell you about a uh, uh, idea uh, that we had in Moldova, uh, and it was uh, done in order to um, capture more participants for Wikilove's X uh, type uh, projects. So there is, uh, <clears throat> you've, uh, maybe you've seen people who uh, go on their bicycles uh, in uh, faraway places, like uh, let's say 50 kilometers or more. Uh, why not uh, encourage them to uh, take photos on their route? Uh, let's um, first of all remember, uh, remind ourselves what a uh, Wikilove's X format means. Um, be it monuments or, uh, or earth or folklore, um, we usually have a uh, uh, systematized registry of, um, of um, let's say, monuments. Um, and um, the um, format is, a, uh, uh, is an uh, online uh, photo contest. Uh, usually the judges uh, will select the most beautiful photos, but um, uh, we comedians, especially those that have the completeness um, 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 uh, they, uh, that, that enjoy to see <laughs> completeness, uh, they would like to see our, um, even mediocre images um, instead of no images at all in, uh, in articles. Um, and uh, that brings us to the fact that uh, in these uh, lists of, uh, like, for example, monuments, there are monuments that are, um, maybe they are not spectacular, uh, or uh, they are located um, outside uh, uh, tourist spots, uh, or they are simply unreachable by, uh, by car. In, uh, here come um, uh, bicycle tourists. Uh, this is where they can help, and how? Full gamification. Actually, um, the correct term would be further, further gamific uh, gamification because uh, the um, Wikilove's um, X uh, format is already gamified. Um, and uh, the actual game is uh, a, an adaptation of uh, quests. Um, the quests, uh, the classical uh, traditional quest, uh, what does it mean? It, uh, it, you, as a participant, you receive a piece of paper uh, with uh, uh, usually with some hints uh, that tell you to go there or there or there um, and to collect uh, some, I don't know, uh, some, some hints on the route. And then at the end, you have a treasure of, of some sort if you find it. Um, and the prize is given to the uh, participant that. Uh, either was the fastest or uh, was the most complete. So we adapted this one um, uh, to the needs of a, a, a bicycle-oriented quest. Uh, how we adapted is the routes uh, are not um, uh, developed by uh, organizers. They are uh, instead the participants themselves have, uh, have the, the freedom to develop them. Uh, and why is that? Because the, um, they will receive points per monument visit, uh, visited or per uh, image made, uh, and they are incentivized this way to, um, to, uh, to plan for a, um, as much as possible, uh, as many as possible um, landmarks. But not only monuments, of course, uh, when they visit uh, towns and villages, um, they uh, are encouraged also to um, take photos of um, things like town halls or uh, or uh, some or churches of different uh, um, confessions and so on. Um, now to a little bit of uh, personalization of the rules. Um, we um, thought uh, so. This is uh, um, uh, some differences we applied this year. Uh, um, against last year. Last year was the first iteration of this bike quest. Um, we introduced a system of tiers in order to level the field a bit. 
uh, there are people who can easily do 20, uh, I mean, uh, 200 kilometers a day on a bike, and uh, of course the beginners who could not compete with that because the, uh, the former um, <laughs> has better chances to cover more distance, more monuments, I mean. So uh, um, there are different uh, prices, pr uh, prices for uh, these um, distances over here. And uh, also um, we um, compensate uh, any, uh, not any, I mean to the limit of 10 US dollars or so, um, we compensate uh, expenses they have on food, uh, foods and refreshments uh, on the road and starting this year uh, to transport as well. So um, the use case would be that uh, maybe someone wants to uh, travel by train uh, to reach uh, the start of their planned route. And uh, let's talk some results. Um, the numbers may not seem much, but uh, the um, percentage of, uh, so uh, percentage of participant number of uh, photos number, they uh, um, are about, they are all about 10% of the whole uh, Wikilove's Monuments um, uh, initiative in Moldova. And uh, for, um, so yeah, we have three uh, participants basically who uh, uploaded 137 uh, photos covering 50 distinct landmarks. But this year um, we um, have a little bit higher expectations um, and uh, the good news is that the contest is already ongoing uh, throughout August and maybe we will uh, also extend it to September, the month of Wikilove's Monuments itself. And uh, there are already five participants on the road. I, well, not on the road right now, but they are registered and uh, they have already done their uh, routes, at least partially. Come on. So yeah, I have no particular conclusions, just wanted to share a neat idea. And I'm open for a question or two. And uh, afterwards, I have a poster, um, poster sessions, uh, where we can talk about this in more detail. Thank you.